We start with a video that you've likely seen by now claiming to show an unlocked ballot box in Lansing. It's making the rounds online. Michigan GOP officials demanding an investigation into it, saying this shows absentee voting is not safe. But some of the details behind the video aren't quite adding up. Our Sally Crescenzio has the report. And I can go right up to the back of it. As a record number of Michigan voters are expected to cast ballots absentee, the Michigan Republican Party says this video is proof of negligence and a lack of security ahead of the election. It appears to show a Dropbox unlocked with an envelope inside for the taking. But today, Lansing clerk Chris Swope spoke out saying nothing was done wrong because voters had not yet received ballots on the day the video was posted. Looking at the tracking system that we use for our ballots, that is when the first ballots were delivered to voters in Lansing was on September 26th. So this video was taken uh, sometime after the ballot box was installed and was posted on September 25th. He adds that the envelope in question in the video isn't even a ballot. Whatever it is that's in there obviously has no green borders on it, so it is not one of our ballot return envelopes. I do not know what the video shows in the box. Late this afternoon, Republican Party Chair Laura Cox sent a statement saying that clerks across the state have reached out questioning the security of drop boxes. She acknowledged it wasn't a ballot in the unlocked box, but said voters were informed these were also safe places to drop off other documents such as absentee voting applications and voter registration forms as early as September 18th. A second recording dealing with the same ballot box was also released by Michigan Republicans. This one shows an election worker struggling to secure the box after collecting ballots turned in. Republicans say it also demonstrates a lack of security. Swope says this. Let's make 250% sure that they're secured when we walk away from them. So I think that's some of what you saw in the second video that was posted. That was Araceli Crescenzio reporting. The Secretary of State's office has accused the state GOP of blatantly spreading misinformation and that the Attorney General's office is now looking into this. As for the box in that video, it's now labeled out of order. Anyone with concerns can track their ballot through the Secretary of State's website.